Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? What you guys are about to see is a sneak peek into Mafia 3. 2K uh, was kind enough to fly me out to their studios and give me an early access sneak peek at Mafia 3. Now, I got to play the first complete act all by myself, unrecorded, a little bit into act two, <clears throat> and then they skipped us into act four, which is what you guys are about to see now. So there's gonna be four videos on this, and I know that it kind of throws you guys in the middle of stuff that you really don't understand, but just know that um, this is all I was able to show you and record, and I just wanted to throw this little bit of a tidbit into each of these videos so that way you guys kind of understand where we're at. So just know and keep the mindset that this is pretty much just a sneak peek into the game to show you what the game is about and to kind of give you guys a little bit of an insight of what Mafia 3 is going to uh, have in store for you guys. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to the final installment of this uh, Mafia 3 uh, pre-release. Let's play for you guys before we can actually play the whole thing when we get back home. So, uh, where you guys have been watching through the first three episodes, you guys are able, pretty much, basically, be able to see me do this whole French Ward area here. Uh, that's pretty much what we can show you uh, thus far the storyline without ruining too much for you guys. Um, last episode, you guys saw me clear out all these different areas here, which is going to allow us to head over to do the next mission of the French Ward, Evil That Men Do, to confront Doc uh, Gaston. So this is a, a part that I'm actually pretty excited about because it's going to... Uh, kind of show you guys uh, I don't want to say too much without you guys seeing it but it's it's gonna be something pretty cool we'll just leave it at that so uh, so again thank you guys for watching I do appreciate your guys support in this and again big thanks to 2k for flying me out here to give me this opportunity to record this game because without them I would still be waiting for the game to uh, to release and just like all of you guys but they gave me the opportunity to come check it out so uh, big thank you guys for that All right, so we do have, looks like one guy over here that is guarding. Out of the way. There we go. Jesus Christ! No! Uh, no! Uh, uh. All right, so we're just gonna kind of keep making our way down through here. Holy ball! Uh. Oh, snap. All right, so things definitely got... Oh, sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Things just got real already. <laughs> All right, so we're going to swipe this swipe this weapon here. Can't believe you got us in here. We got more guys. Oh. No! Man, but your brother wasn't... Holy oh, crap, the innocent people. I'll take that, thank you. Wonder where he picked that up from. I see a dude chilling. Oh god, sentry is alerted. No, put down the gun. Ouch. Oh god, reinforcements have arrived. This is not going to end well. We're going to go ahead and run up here. Oh, crap. I hear people everywhere. Swipe that money. Oh, I can't get in through here, though. That's where I want to go. Holy crap, there's like guys coming out everywhere. Okay, that's hurting a little bit. Get behind him. Holy crap, the amount of people over here is crazy. That guy just tried bailing out on a boat, but we actually got a good headshot off on him. Let's grab this health here out of this med box. Keep <laughs> No joke, though. Oh, there we go. We found that guy chilling behind that box. Nice. 
Oh, there's body armor, looks like, over here. Nice. Attack vest. Definitely could use that. Okay, so let's uh, try and make our way back over this way to where our target is. Go see what we're dealing with. Oh, I hear somebody talking. There's our boy. Okay, that guy's down. Slip oh. behind it. Oh, look at him hiding behind his desk over there. I got something for him, actually. There's a dude chilling right in there, so we'll throw that in there. <laughs> Okay. He's got a backup. There he is. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> Laugh it up. until his dying breath. <laughs> Give me some of your men. We're locking down the French war. This is all I ever wanted, brother. Next step for you is easy as long as you let us stay right where we are. All right, here comes as he takes out the sign. <laughs> All right, here they come. Yeah, I'm of two minds when it comes to Lincoln's legacy. On the one hand, he was a, a brutal criminal who killed God knows how many people. A new breed of mobster, a prototype for criminals to come. Someone like that doesn't deserve the position history has afforded him. He should be forgotten erased but i also understand that lincoln had a significant impact on the italian mob in this city he did what the bureau wouldn't or couldn't do he finished them all right perfect so now we should be able to come down here to see Donovan for the latest on the judge, which is our uh, story mission for this part of it here. All right. There we go. Gunsmith increased ammo. Okay, that's nice. It's always good to have. Does I destroy half the city getting here? So luckily this one's not too far. Either. Oh, there's a cop right there. All right, we're good. Just park over here. Wait, what? I got a name for your judge. Cornelius Holden. He just made a call to Luke. I get worked up. I barely avoided that lunatic, Luke. And I pay me enough to come stop me right there, Cornelius. Never know who might be listening in. You need to get this shit under control here. Because until you do, your brother's chase isn't going anywhere. There's no call for that kind of talk. I'll send over a car, a couple of my best men. They'll see to it that you're kept safe. Cornelius is 60. The dipshits of this state first elected him to the Fifth Circuit in 1951. There's something else you should know. Those two men are Lamont Harris and Trey McCall. They were killed by a man named Hollis Dupree. Yeah, I heard he gunned them down when they showed up to his house asking for help. Hollis claims he was in self-defense, said he thought they were there to kill him. 
Cornelius is the judge that's presiding over the trial. So killing him might kick up a lot of noise. <laughs> Cornelius is an entitled southern asshole. Killing him is going to do a lot more than kick up some noise. Hopefully, it'll send a message that is long past the time that those cocksuckers went extinct. That's the car down there that Lou is talking about. That thing armored? I pulled the work order for it. It's a complete custom job. Tough as hell. Of course It'll it is. take a pounding, but it won't be impossible. Cornelius is scheduled to leave any time now, so this is your window. You follow a set route? Not since the trial started, but he still makes a stop or two on the way home. So you can either hit him then, or go after him when he's driving around. All right. And watch out for the cops. All right, let's get in our car and let's keep the party going here. I like how he says into, oh wow, the cops. Okay. There's way too many cops over there for us to even attempt to do anything stupid, so we're just gonna chill for a minute. Oh, okay, so they're opening up the gate, so they're gonna escort him out of here. I need some of my party favors. You know where to go, son. Okay, so there he goes. He's got a police escort, naturally. Okay, so we can... this nonsense right now. Poor son of a bitch to pay. Yep. Sorry, Your Honor. Them northern papers would have us railroad that man, but I won't have it. Excuse me for saying, but uh, doesn't the DA want this guy behind bars? The district attorney agrees with me that a white man should be able to defend his home in this state. So what are you gonna do, Your Honor? See justice done. That's what. Alright, now that those guys are done talking, so basically I'm not too sure if we should, uh, maybe wait it out until he gets somewhere more stationary instead of trying to hit him. Because right now then I'll have to deal with cops on the run and deal with him, so I'm thinking we might end up... Decision. Oh, okay, so a cop just split off. Okay, so now... Okay, so we actually just pulled into this parking garage here. And there he is. Without his cop escort, too. That seemed to work out pretty decent. Not too bad. Chuck a grenade right next to the car and kill everybody that's over there. Police I'll take it. Officers down here. All units. Suspect confirmed armed and dangerous. Approach with extreme I'll take it. caution. Oh, I almost hit the wall. Now I just gotta dodge the cops and I'm driving what looks to be a police station maybe. Blue dots everywhere. There we go. Bam. Easy money. Look at that. Not too bad. We're gonna wait until make sure, oh. Okay, I thought the cop was maybe coming after me. No, no he's. Not coming after me. I thought he was for a second there. He's just following me. Oh, and I'm on the wrong side of the road and there's another cop. There's cops everywhere. Alright, we're gonna hang out here for a second, let things die down. 
All right, so I uh, just wanted Either to cut out that part because it was almost a 2,300 uh, mile or meter so drive. Marcano so Marcano was bribing a district judge named Cornelius Holden. Is that correct? Sal Marcano spent a lot of money getting Holden in his pocket. A lot of money. Judges like that don't come cheap. And with Holden out of the picture, Sal had to find someone else to legalize gambling. And that person was State Senator Walter Jacobs. That's right. You had one fucking job, Lou. Now it's to keep holding him one goddamn piece to left in that room. What was I supposed to do? He wouldn't listen, Sal. It ain't my fault. Ah, uh, nothing's ever your goddamn fault. I swear, if you wasn't my brother, I'd clip you myself. Now listen here. I know a guy, a state senator named Jacobs. He's on the Revenue and Fiscal Affairs Committee. <laughs> Has a lot of influence. Can we get to him? Already have. He has a thing for fucking on women who ain't his wife. I don't want to twist this guy's balls out of the gate, you understand? We need to be smart about this. Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, how about I throw him a fundraiser on the riverboat? Show him a real nice time. Get him laid. All that shit. This goddamn casino got me tapped, you understand? This goes down to shit or we're fucked. All of us. Well, I'll pick the guests myself. Make sure they know what's what. Then we'll take a nice long cruise down the bayou. Get them all liquored up. Once he sees that payday, Jacobs is gonna do whatever we want. <laughs> Lou Marcano knew everyone. I mean, politicians, merchants, lawyers, bankers. He insisted on being called Uncle Lou and was basically the Santa Claus of the French ward. According to the police reports, Mr. Marcano and Mr. Jacobs were killed during a fundraiser on a riverboat. The thing about the bayou is it's a very big place. You could blow the living shit out of everything in sight and no one would even notice. <laughs> Ready to go when you are. Assume you already mapped out where the riverboat's gonna go. Lou's pretty fastidious about that kind of thing. Always follows the same path when he goes cruising through the bayou. Doesn't want anything to happen to his beloved Delphine. <laughs> gonna be the least of his problems. You recon the area? There's an old coal dumper that they have to sail past. I've already got it rigged to blow. You just need to connect the primer cord to each block and then set it off. Detonator's down by your feet. All right. Isolate and kill. Lincoln Clay specialty. What's wrong? Eh, it's the boat thing, isn't it? Not saying it is, not saying it ain't. <laughs> you need to get over it. You were on what, 40, 45 PBRs in country? 52. That's not the point. You don't know what it's like to get onto a boat knowing full well the damn thing's gonna sink. It gets old, man. Look, you blow the coal dumper, boom, it hits the boat. Then you jump on board and kill Lou and those other assholes. 50-50, you don't even get wet. 50-50? 40-60, but still. I guess those are good odds. Thirty seventy at the worst. <laughs> he just had to throw that in, didn't he? All right, reach the coal dumper. All right, I'm not seeing anybody here, so. Oh. Spoke too soon. I hear somebody walking around down below. Okay, so we got that primer set. Oh, there's three guys down there that I can see so far. Okay, we'll set this primer real quick. Hopefully we don't trigger anybody. And the other two are downstairs, naturally. So we will have to... Uh... Huh? Fucking weird. We'll have to uh, get somebody up here. Is he coming up? Yes, he is. Where'd you go, shitbird? Okay, we're just gonna go for it. 
Where is there? He is. Where'd the other guy go? I don't know what he was running to. Okay, so we've got uh, two more primers here we're gonna set. And then we've got the last one just over here, and then we should be ready to rock. Okay. Detonate the C4. Let's go ahead and uh, head back the way we came, shall we? Maybe. Ow. I'll pop this open and hopefully be at a safe distance here. you upstairs. You all fan out. Watch the rest of the boat. This sure shit wasn't an accident. Just stirred the hornet's nest with that one, that's for sure. There, I see a ladder over there. All right, let's go for it. That's what I get for trying to go around the front side of the boat here. Let's see if we can go straight. Oh. Freaking alligators, man, they're everywhere. guys hurt, don't they? Just that one little bit of a shot there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, go ahead and just keep feeding me those kills. Just keep coming on in here. Okay, we got the one guy crouching right behind the door here. And then I believe we got... We got some more coming in now. Got to handle all these dudes real quick here before we can get to the good stuff. Find the last guy we need here. Oh. Okay, so that guy took off. Oh, snap. Another dude chilling over here. Wow, nice. That guy. Oh. Come on. Wow, that guy got a lucky shot off. 
Okay, so let's see. We've got... Not seeing anybody else over here, so we're good over here. Okay. Let's head up. There's no way. There's got to be more people up. Yeah, I was going to say... Missed my opportunity with that one. We'll chuck this in there. Hopes that gets a couple of those guys up there. Wow, that guy survived that. There we go. man. Wrong time to run out of ammo there. Okay, we got two guys still chilling back over here. We got a medicine cabinet up here as well. We'll be able to use this. I knew that guy wasn't dead yet. Oh my goodness. That guy caught me off guard. medicine cabinet's actually downstairs and we've got one just outside here whoa boat shifting there we go watch out lady move There we go. God, those crocodiles, man, are just feasting down there. Oh, okay. Oh, that chick just caught on fire. <laughs> oh. Say goodbye to that guy. I'm just trying to play this slow here. Take a steal. Shoot him. There we go. Wow, that dude took them all. Nice. <laughs> of course. Oh, snap. Holy crap, this place is coming apart. You find that motherfucker so we can get off this boat. That motherfucker so we He does it. Oh, easy does it. Whoa, though, buddy. We gotta move. I'll be to have my re-election spoiled by this. He's running. Oh, what do we got here? Blow his fucking legs off! These guys are coming out of the woodworks everywhere, aren't they? Just gotta pick and choose these shots. Just like that. Another 
Another one down. Just gotta stop these guys from flanking me. There we go. We got another three downstairs and one upstairs over here. Oh, this boat. Okay, there's that guy down. I'll try and use this height to my advantage here. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. This guy's gonna try and flank me. He's trying to circle around here. Okay. Where's his other buddy at? Oh, he's up top still. Ugh. There we go. Okay, that guy's down now. Now we can get back up here. I'll take that. That's far enough, you wop asshole! What the fuck, Lou? Pick another step, me bitch. Can you think I give a shit about some politicians? Please. Please, I, I don't even know what's going on. Kill me I don't want your money. I want you to send a message to your brother. Yep. Anything. Oh, just say it. Just say it. <laughs> Lord Almighty. Walter Jacobs was killed this evening in a fiery explosion aboard a riverboat. Local businessman Louis Marcano also lost his life, along with dozens of other wealthy donors there to attend a political fundraiser. When Lincoln left his gutted body on a statue commemorating Andrew Jackson, people were horrified. I mean, how could that be anything but a political statement? Yeah. Goddamn motherfucking piece of shit! Lou's dead. They found him tied to that statue of Andrew Jackson over the French ward. He was gutted like a goddamn catfish. Jesus Christ, Pops. Uh, I... This was that goddamn nigga, Lincoln Clay. We wouldn't be in this fucking mess if you'd done what you were supposed to do. You were there. I shot him right in the head. Once! Oh, that... You shot him once! Son of a bitch! Oh, this is just what I fucking need. Holden's dead, Jacob's dead. Christ, without them, this casino isn't going anywhere. Unless I can figure something out. Well, what about the governor? What about him? Wasn't he into us a while back? What, for them hookers? Yeah, but he paid all that off. But I still got the pictures. It's gonna take more than pictures of him humping on some broad to swing him around on our side. You understand? A lot more. Always call Leo Galante. No, 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 no. Fuck him. The whole reason I'm building this goddamn casino is to get out from under them worthless fucks. I bring in the commission, they're gonna wanna cut everything. God. 
damn it. Go on, get the hell out of here. I gotta make a call. Leo! Yeah, Sal. <laughs> How the fuck are you? Yeah, listen, I got something I need to discuss. I tried to reconcile the part of me that helped Lincoln with the part of me that vowed to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. But I can't. You know what I remember? I remember watching the news and learning they had gunned down Dr. King. I remember watching people lash out, riot, because that's all they had left. All the while, Lincoln's in the other room, barely clinging to life. Maybe that's why I did what I did. Guess this is where we find which direction you and I are headed. My expectations here have not faltered. And while you appear to be leaning in my direction, let me remind you in no uncertain terms. This turf comes to me. You need to let this play out, Cassandra. I understand your position, but I need to hear from everyone. If you're concerned about Cassandra, you ought to re-examine your fucking priorities. You can't survive in this business by reacting to the emotional state of any asshole who comes along. Jesus, lad. Just give her the district and let's get on with our goddamn lives. You do right by me, or you'll be seeing Richard Doucette again real soon. Man up, Lincoln. Oh, for fuck's sake, give it to your mott if it'll get her to stop her wailing. Hmm. Decisions, decisions here. Feels like a knife is being twisted in my fucking back. <laughs> You'll do what's right here, Lincoln, or there will be blood in the streets of the holler again. Kind of leaning towards her, though. Greco thought he had more brains than everyone else. Until they were splattered all over the floor of my chump shack. The Haitians will run this part of the city. Yep. All right, then. This is a step in the right direction, but it's only one step, Lincoln. You and I still got a deep hole to crawl out of. Son of a bitch. I, I don't take this shit lightly, Lincoln. I mean, a part of this or I'm not. There's no in-between. Is this over? Because I really need to go drop a load in the bog. <laughs> we'll talk later. Get on out of here. All right. Well, on that note, that's where I am going to uh, go ahead and conclude and wrap up this little bit of a showing for you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, when the game releases, you guys can expect a uh, full Let's Play from beginning to end on this. I'm very, very excited to bring it to you guys. It's got a lot of potential, and it's definitely something that I look forward to playing. So again, thank you guys for, so much for watching. Uh, thank you for the support, and again, uh, big thanks to 2K for uh, flying me out here and giving me this opportunity. And again, it wouldn't be possible without you guys. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, once the game releases, you guys can expect to see it. So. We'll see you guys then. Have a great day, everybody.